tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break me. the class trip everyone was waiting for. Mr. Hop Hop had promised us a life skills adventure. Nothing less than 100% immersion in the wilderness. Nothing more than the bare essentials to survive. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Will you please sit down? Some of us just wanted an excuse for a good party. Others, there was no excuse for. Then there was Maria, who was prepping to be a Survivor contestant. Connor, however, was unique. I'm telling you, it's time. He had a more interpersonal journey planned for himself. Don't get me wrong, I think it's a good idea and everything. It just seems, I don't know, unnecessary. You don't think it's a little weird that I don't have any guy friends? It's not weird, it's just the way you are. You're meant to be a girl's guy friend. Not anymore. Starting now, I'm going to be a guy's guy. <laughs> and me? I was one part scared that I'd have to go against all my principles and eat bugs and one part excited that I might come back totally transformed. So far, the only life-altering thing that happened was a goose almost landed on my head. Now, for those of you who think this is going to be a free ride to bonus grades, let me be clear. This is real life out here. Mommy and Daddy aren't going to rescue you. Yeah! No one on your back all day! In fact, you and your teammates are on your own, working side by side with Mother Nature for the next day and a half. No cell phones, no huh? junk food, just an emergency pager. This is about appreciating what's important. Aside from your basic camping equipment, you'll get one match and a cup of sunflower seeds. Can you hack it? Yeah! What about the rest of you? Yeah, yeah. sure. No problem. Yeah, no problem. Now, people, listen up. I want sharp tacks, none of this wimpy baloney. Now, who can explain the rules? Sir, each team starts in a different spot in the woods. We must reach the abandoned hermit's hut by noon tomorrow. <laughs> aye, aye, sir. That's right. You find the items on this list, you get big bonus points. You get to the hut first on top of that, and we're talking 100% in phys ed. Now, hop to! Don't forget to leave all your personal belongings with me before I put you in your teams. Connor, you can keep your camera to get material for the video yearbook. Hop-Off wasn't serious about handing over our cell phones, was he? And what about our hot air rollers? Do they count? Those two are so useless but so meant for each other. Boys teams to the right, girls teams to the left. You'll be working together in teams of three. Oh, Maria, are you sure you're gonna be able to hack it out here? Excuse me, Brocky boy? I'll be looking for your SOS signals in what? About a half an hour? <laughs> Alden, Brock, and Connor. Move it, move it! Ah, come on, coach. Let's go, team, let's go. <laughs> Bringing your hot water bottle, too, just in case? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sharon, Maria. Yes! And Nina. No. no. You're not serious. 
You're putting me with Brace Face and Wong? Quit your squawking. Hand over your electronics, CD players, and any other modern indulgences. Positive thinking, Spitz. That's the key here. Maria might have thought this was all a big game, but here I was being forced to survive in the wilderness with my number one enemy. This wasn't a challenge. This was a death sentence. Good luck, girls! I'm gonna need it now that I'm stuck with these sub-zero beings. You should consider yourself lucky, Your Majesty. Without us, you'd be dead meat out here. Please, I could do this solo in half the time. Really? So why don't you lead us to the rare speckled oak tree moss? Good idea. I'm gonna win this race with or without you. Got it? I need the marks. Oh, don't tell me that the queen of suck-ups been slacking off a bit. Excuse me, but I'm juggling a demanding acting career with school. I didn't know being an extra was so time-consuming. What would you know about the industry anyway, brace face? And what would you know about team spirit, huh? Or the simple thrill of knowing you tried your best? We're not doing this for the marks. We're doing it to do it well. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> I don't care if we're on the same team. It's gonna be so much fun watching suckers like you get totally squished. Ow! The reef knot here is the most useful of all knots, but there's also the bowline or a hitch. You might as well give it up, pal. You failed your scout's camp craft badge for a reason. Yeah. I got a major Charlie horse that day. <laughs> Don't give me that lame-o excuse. You were weak. You try building a fire with pain piercing through your leg. I hated Scouts too, Alden. I liked it. <laughs> no one cares. Now, who wants to hear my plan to scare the girls? Uh, guys? Are you hungry? What are you talking about? We just got started. So I skip breakfast. Just give me my share of the sunflower seeds. Well, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You knew what we were up against. And you didn't even load up on carbs this morning? If Sharon wants to stuff her face this early in the game, what do we care? So, can you hand over the bag, Nina? Oops, they gave us a defective bag. Give me a break. Your press-ons punctured a hole in it. Do you think so? Oh, this is great. It is, you know. Those seeds were really weighing me down. What with all my other emergency provisions? Oh, please, do you actually think I'd share these with you? <laughs> we shall overcome. Oh. Uh, the rare speckled oak tree moss is supposed to be northeast from here, about a mile in. This is a total waste of time. Let's just get to this dude's hut first, and no one will care about the speckled whatchamacallit. Don't even think about it. Can we pick up the pace here? I don't think so, Wong. There's a shortcut over there. That map's not allowed. Grow up, kitties. We have no choice. <laughs> I'm telling you, we amplify these through a funnel of bark, and the girls will be totally freaked out. Will you give it up? I'm trying to get an accurate read on this compass. Hey, what's this? Freaky. Ah, it's the bushy-tailed black squirrel up to his little tricks again. I'm serious. Don't you think that's weird? Brock's right. That species of squirrels have unique storage habits. I told you. Come on, no animal could have done this. It's in a perfect triangle. <laughs> Yep, smells like it's mating season, too. Since when are you an expert? Since my dad's a major naturalist, dimwit. Really? I always thought that many was a nudist. Cool. Hmm. 
This is impossible. Does Hophoff expect us to look under every tree? I told you, Brace Face. No one cares about the moss. If Commando Wong up there wasn't so determined to do everything the hard way... And if Princess Nina didn't have to pee every five minutes in perfect seclusion with the contemplative view, we might be on schedule. We need a plan. Maria? 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 Hey! <gasps> What's with you? Why won't you come out from behind that stupid bush? I just can't. Are you stuck or something? Uh, I hate thunderstorms. Please, you're not even wearing mascara. Are you saying you're afraid of them? But you're not afraid of anything. Is Baby Wong worried the boogeyman in the sky is gonna zap her? Oh, leave me alone! I knew it. Being teamed up with you two meant automatic failure. From now on, no more Mrs. Nice Guy. I'm in charge. <laughs> that way. How could my entire fate be in the hands of this evil, evil Nina She-Girl? She was out to kill us. That much was sure. I didn't care what kind of transformation might happen to me. I wanted it to all be over. Because of Maria's major wimp out back there, we're about two hours behind. This is the only way. No problem. I'm glad this is the only way. Come on, Sharon. If the army guys can do it, we can too. Why don't you go next, Sharon? It's easy, Sharon! Sure. Piece of cake. Scoutmaster Wyman used to really get into sundials. Told the troop they can work better than a compass. Forget the troop, you dork. It's girl freakout time. This is the hermit. Go away. Hey, look, the sundial works. I'm seriously disappointed in you, man. Hey, guys. Nina, we better get through this alive. Nina! Yoo-hoo! Over here! Surprise! Look what I just found! Maria! Look! Okay, now this is too much. I didn't want to tell you this, but maybe now's the time. What are you talking about, man? The Hermit. You know, he's not really gone. Legend has it, he was left in the woods when he was a baby and raised by these bushy-tailed squirrels. He's part man, part squirrel. <laughs> Get out of here. Dude, it's not funny. Think about it, he'd have major claws, right? Yep. And these pine cone mountains are his way of warning us. He's hungry. What is he hungry for? Flesh. Human flesh. 
Nuts alone can't sustain him. Maybe he's in there right now, waiting for us. I wouldn't doubt it. now be my savior. I was alive. And all because of Nina Harper. Come on, Brock. You wuss. Okay. Now be prepared to run. There's something in here. Do you hear that? Ah! <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Will you turn that thing off? I can't believe you snuck that in, too. I'll dry. Jealous that I just saved your best friend, Maria, and you didn't? Give me a break. You're the one who tricked us in the first place. You knew there was another bridge all along. Girls, life is too short. Believe me. I swear, when I was heading for the rocky waters of that icy cold gorge, I heard a voice. And it said, live and let live. Okay? Got it? Can we talk about something else, please? Bottom line, Maria, you didn't get the job done. Nina, I'll be forever grateful. Thing is, with you dead, we'd never have gotten any bonus points. <laughs> what a kidder, huh? They were just butterflies. Who cares? You were into it. I saw that tear streaming down your face. <laughs> we still don't know where the hermit is. Maybe he's using the butterflies to spy on us. Ah! Ah! I thought I heard something. Congratulations, gentlemen. You got here first. Uh, Mr. Hop Hop, sir, C can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> Watch this. The Brock man's gonna bail. Did you hear that? You know, Nina, in second grade, I didn't chop off all your doll's heads. I know you think I did it, but I really didn't. Really? That's the honest truth? Is this for real? We're talking how many years ago here? The really eerie part was that was my favorite doll. The one that could talk in an English accent. The one that said, isn't that smashing? Yeah, Jalinda. Even with her head chopped off, she kept saying that sentence over and over again. It gave me nightmares for months. Are you two going to spend all night going down Bizarro Memory Lane or what? Maria, calm down. Calm down? I don't think so. This is the enemy, Sharon. How can you forget every terrible thing she's ever done to you? Trying to steal Alden away, calling you names, spreading lies about you. Ugh. Can't we all just get along? Quiet down, people. I I'm very proud of all of you, and especially the winning team of Brock Layton, Alden Jones, and Connor Ma Wait! Don't tell me we're last. It's not possible. 
Oh. I'm sorry to say that you are indeed last, but that's not to say you're losers. Yes, it is. Ugh! And I told you it was a waste of time to try and find this stupid moss thing. I knew Braceface and Wong would bring me down, down to their lowly, pathetic level. Come on, Nina. Don't be that way. Remember singing taps last night and wiping the slate clean? Please, you bought that? I was just practicing for my next audition. I'm playing a cheesy sap. So the lesson of all this? Don't think you can ever know everything about anyone, including yourself. And don't think that your life can change on one overnight trip. I mean, look at Connor. He left us all eager to do that guy bonding thing, and he still can't resist hanging out with me and Maria. Oh, come on. We're playing Crazy Eights. <laughs> Woohoo! We were the ones, baby. We were there. I guess first. no matter where you go, it's always nice to come home. <laughs>